the class setup we'll be taking a look at today for the mx9 is going to be hybrid mags rapid fire as well as stock comsec device black jacket gung-ho and dexterity and i think this ends up being the best three attachment mx9 class setup obviously you could swap out the comsec device for stim shot but having black jacket dexterity and gung-ho will allow you to have that extra mobility as you run around the map because you can also run around the map without that fear of accidentally hitting a mesh mine or a barricade so the two matches i'm going to break down today emphasizing the number one attachment on the mx9 which is that stock attachment and I actually recorded both of these gameplays live while i was streaming over on twitch the link will be down in the description and in the comment section so go ahead and make sure you click over there to follow me with the notifications on if you're actually looking to catch a live stream and on top of that if you do enjoy the video in any way or find it helpful please remember to hit the like button and if you're brand new to the channel you'd like to find your way back make sure you hit the red subscribe button turning it to gray so for anyone else looking to improve i'm gonna do these two different gameplay breakdowns where i kind of walk you through my thought process for two separate matches and these are back-to-back -back matches what you're going to see is this one was a very close contested match and it pretty much was trying to carry the team. Then in the second match, even though it's pretty much the same exact lobby, the outcome is going to be significantly different. And I'm going to kind of walk you through why things work out the way they do. So I just got my sniper's nest and I'm on the edge of getting the rest of my streaks. As I come right here, you're going to see me straight. And that is the main thing you're going to want to do when you're using the MX-9. Pretty much you're going to want to be mobile. You're going to want to use your extra slide distance you get from that dexterity. And in addition to that, you can reduce your sprint out time by having gung-ho. So by combining all those different things, you can see how I'm pushing around the map, trying to navigate, getting double kills pushing aggressively, picking up tags when I get the opportunity, but I continue to run into one person who is continually stopping me from chaining my streaks together. And that's the unfortunate part about this match, but a large part of that has to do with the lobby balancing. They want you to carry the team, be that one man army, if you have relatively decent stats. And you can see instantaneously that my strike team ended up taking that person out. So we're still getting those kills together. The problem right now is a lot of my teammates aren't being aggressive and grabbing those tags. So I gotta kind of put myself out of position to grab some of these tags and push it a little bit more aggressively than I would otherwise. And that's primarily because I'm overly playing the objective because I actually wanna win. You can see all these kills that are raking in, but the tags are just sitting there while teammates are standing around. They're all on the far right side. The guy walked right past the tag. There he finally grabs them. I'm pushing through, trying to grab this tag. I see a guy's coming from behind me. I reposition, come back out, and the teammate ends up taking the guy out. I run and grab the tag. And now we actually have the lead. I'm really focused on strafing in these particular gunfights. I take out both of those guys. I go ahead and grab that tag. I jump through, slide. My teammate ends up picking the other tag. And then we're actually up by four tags right now. So we're in a good spot. I can see the sensor dart going off in the mid. I go ahead and take this dude out. Luckily, I was able to stop him from grabbing the other tag. So we're actually still in a pretty good spot. It really is just going to come down to my teammate staying alive. And again, I end up getting sniped by this dude. A little bit of bad timing as I jump through. I never even saw the guy. He's kind of like in a blind spot. He did end up being on the minimap, so if I could have seen the minimap I was jumping through, I would have been able to catch that, but I definitely missed it the first time I was playing through. I go ahead and try and play aggressively, go ahead and take the guy out, and then I get hit right there with another war machine. A little bit of bad timing, it looks like there's two of them with the war machine, and it looks like we're coming through and the score is very close. And we can actually win this. It's really just going to come down to, can we win these engagements? I get insta-melted, but my teammate's able to clean up the tag. And I'm rushing to the other side, but it looks like I'm getting really short on time. And I was actually feeling like we were going to win because it looks like on the minimap, we have the power position. It looks like we have the stairs, but all of them are downstairs together. One guy ends up coming through, cleans them all up, and grabs all the tags. So it was a close match, but what it really came down to was my ability to get a second set of streaks. Obviously, I got the one set that bridged the gap, made it closer, taking a 10-point deficit into a 5-point lead, but it wasn't enough for us to secure the victory. So as you watch this through, there's still going to be this guy sniping in the lobby trying to take people off of streaks, and I just have to navigate the map the correct way so I can actually maximize those kills minimize those deaths and hopefully get the first set of streaks rather quickly so you can see as i get into that gunfire i'm strafing trying to take the guy out i try and take a different angle there's a lot of them right here i end up just kind of avoiding that and i back off i want to go ahead and kind of disengage from the gunfight and from watching a lot of people's gameplay i think that's one of the things a lot of people struggle with is disengaging from bad situations right there was about four of them they all turn on me i'm in a really bad spot thinking they're going to chase me down i go ahead and decide to re-engage Looks like there's a guy in the back of the spawn as I come through. I go ahead and peek him, and then it looks like that guy's gone. Spawns a flip, so I'm going to go ahead and take some of these tags. 
I'm gonna go ahead and drop down the ammo in my teammate's spawn. So when they spawn in, they'll automatically grab that and I'll be able to get the free score. And in addition to that, they'll be able to rack up some score as well. That's another disengage moment. There's two of them. They're on a higher elevation. They're gonna be a little harder to hit. And I have an SMG that doesn't have the fastest time to kill, even though it has a ton of great mobility. It's looking like the spawns are still on the other side. So what I gotta do is push through the building, see if I can get a little flank here. I go to pre-aim it on the right really quick, and it's really a matter of timing. COD timing could have screwed me here, but I come through, I'm able to clean up this first kill, and then go ahead and take out the second guy as well. There's another one pursuing, so I go ahead and get out of there, I slide out of the way, and then I can see what my teammate's doing on the left-hand side. I decide to peek out, see if I can get any kills here, and right now I can see I'm in a really bad spot. And I know this area of the map is safe, my teammate just ran through there, there's teammates spawning in the back, and this allows me to reassess the map. So sometimes when you go into a situation, you're gonna have to reassess it and find out, okay, where's my escape plan if the gunfights aren't gonna go my way? I saw that the guy's movement was gonna be pushing through this building, so the second he comes out, I go ahead and wait for him, and then I go ahead and take him out. Teammate ends up taking out the other guy, so we're in a good spot. Push through, grab the tags, and now I have my sniper's nest. And I only need 50 score for the next streak, so all I gotta do is push out, maybe grab one tag, win one gunfight, it's not really all that crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and move with my teammates. I'm seeing if maybe I can go ahead and push through. And it looks like on this left side, there's somebody over here. They end up getting killed by a sniper's nest. I'm going and work my way back because it looks like the spawns are gonna flip. And you can see I was already pre-aimed, ready for that engagement. Come through and it looks like the spawns are my side again. I have a thresher now, a strike team. Scores 29 to 12 and it's just getting started. This particular collection of streaks allows me to win more matches than anything. I go ahead and take out the first guy, I snap on, take out the other one. Luckily, because he did nine bang me, my teammate was coming through, so that was gonna help. I wasn't sure if that was a friend or foe just yet because I did get nine bang. I wasn't sure if they were just running to get those tags. See the enemies over here, I'm kind of in a bad spot. I go ahead and peek it, teammate ends up cleaning up the kill, then I'm able to run through. I dropped the ammo since it looks like a few of them are running through there. See the guy on the right, he has the shield, so I decide to get out of there. And that's the problem with some of these specialists, you can't really do much. I'm expecting there's an enemy on this left side, but you can see my strike team's working through there. So I know it's kind of cleared up. I go ahead and pick up this tag. I'm only 135 off of that sniper's nest. So one more kill, a teammate tag, or whatever the case is. I should be in a pretty good spot as far as getting the cycling of the streaks. See the guy all the way back here. Teammate ends up taking him out and deciding to push through. We do have a little bit of UAV action. One of our teammates calls it in. I go ahead and win that gunfight there. And now I have another sniper's nest and a thresher. Can't quite call them in yet, but this is pretty much a good problem to have. Basically, I'm sitting on streaks. I'm gonna get closer to my next set of streaks. As I come through, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple tags. I can see a couple enemies right there. So obviously you can see how quickly I get sniped, but what you're gonna see is the guy thinks he's ended my streak. He doesn't know that I'm sitting on three more streaks. So what happens is the second I'm able to call on the next thresher, they're gonna start leaving the match because they're like, oh man, couldn't shut this guy down, I sniped them, whatever the case is, but they end up starting to leave the match. And this part ends up being play of the game. I end up taking out this first guy, I come through, I see the guy on the mini map, I know that there's two more pushing through, I go ahead and reload, re-engage, take the guy out, I know there's another one coming through, I get down, I go ahead and attack five boosts because I don't have stim shot, get back up, take that guy out, snap on and take out the other guy. And it doesn't stop there, I go ahead and pre-aim that spawn, those guys are chasing the tags, I go ahead and take that guy out. I start getting shot from behind and I pretty much got two bursts from a daemon, which at that range feels like I'm playing hardcore. So you can see the guys end up leaving the lobby as soon as I called in those streaks. With that particular feed, I have another set of streaks. And that's why it's okay to play passive in the beginning because that led to my first set of streaks, which also allowed me to put it into a different gear and start actually rushing around the map. And that's one of my main thought processes as I play COD, I play slow to play fast. Obviously, I played very slow in the beginning to get that first set of streaks, which actually applies a ton of pressure to the enemy team and actually changes the way they play the game. And for the most part, makes their movements a lot more predictable. A lot of times, the people can't just run out in the open because they're fear of getting hit by the thresher or the sniper's nest. They can't really go into the building because the strike team are all around and they win those gunfights. They're kind of put in a tricky predicament. Right there, I was able to frame the guy. I knew where he was coming because of the minimap. We do have the radar shroud, which is kind of blocking the vision, which is not a good thing. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw down my ammo bag. This is our spawns. Teammate should be pushing through. I can see the teammate directly in front of me, so I know that area is pretty clear. I go ahead and pre-aim that as I come out. And once the shroud's gone, I recognize that the spawns have flipped and I immediately run to the other side. I'm trying to get a flank. It looks like the enemies are stuck in the middle of the building. So all I'm trying to do is run through there as quick as possible, see if I can get a flank. 
As I come through, I saw someone's behind. I turn around, end up landing a couple shots, but my teammate ends up cleaning up the kill. And it's looking like the spawns have flipped again, so I start rotating the other side while I grab this tag. We're only seven off the victory, and I've already gotten another sniper's nest that I can't call in. Guy's running through with the knife. I'm able to take him out, and I got another full set of streaks. And obviously, there's people out there that probably try and stretch the game out by not picking up tags. But generally, if I'm playing kill confirmed, I'm going to be the one picking up the most tags on my team. So just a reminder, if you did enjoy the video, remember to hit the like button, subscribe if you're brand new to the channel and like to find your way back, and make sure you go ahead and check out the description and the comments section so you can go ahead and follow me over on Twitch, where I'll be live streaming and doing open lobbies. Also, if you can, leave a comment down below of another class setup you'd like to see in the very, very near future. So definitely not a bad match. I ended up going 55-2 and two with a total of 22 captures and pretty much my only two deaths. I really couldn't have done a ton to prevent. Appreciate all the support on the channel. Thank you for watching. And as always, have a great day.